mad, B? I know. She's mad, y'all. She got the hiccups. But I just wanted to come in here and say hey because y'all haven't seen me since um, earlier this morning um, when y'all heard Corey snoring and Callie was biting her hands, teething and stuff. Y'all, if y'all have any, any like, if you have any like suggestions for me to help Callie with her teething, it's getting like pretty bad where she gets so frustrated and she like sometimes it looks like she punching herself in the face she be like all up on her face trying to you know soothe herself um i have like put her binky in the freezer um i don't know my mom said do some stuff i'm gonna try that the stuff my mom told me to do like the little finger things you know little thing you put your finger in and put them in the mouth and stuff um if y'all have any you know suggestions i would love some i don't know what to do with my baby she hates it and i don't want to give her tylenol all the time either i haven't gave her tylenol since that one time she was like really warm and stuff so um yeah but we're not doing nothing i have two i had two projects to do by five o'clock and I still have an exam to do by midnight. I didn't even know that my project was due by 5 p.m., but I got it done at about 3, about 3. So, good thing I checked, and I seen it, and I'm like, oh, my God, 5 p.m. So, yeah, I had some extra credit I was due at 6. I did that. So, basically, today been about school again, and I need to get in a shower, man. I need to take me a shower. I haven't taken a shower yet, because Kelly just been so antsy. She antsy right now. If it ain't teething, it's hiccups, y'all. It's always something, like... I can't catch a break. Only break I was able to do was do my homework. I haven't even got myself together, as you can see. But, um, I did want to just come on here and say hi to y'all. And, um, baby, it's all right. And happy Monday and whatever. And I hope everybody's day is going good. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog from yesterday. And, yeah, I'm just about to get Callie together with her freaking hiccups and she keeps fussing she's not fussing right now but she about to start she got the pass by in her mouth but yeah i'm just like can't wait for this weekend not saying i need a break from my baby but she just been giving me a couple weeks of frustration but that's supposed you know i mean that's that's what they're supposed to do and they're their babies they don't know what else to do how to tell you what's wrong or whatever and she's just going through stages so i can't be mad but it'll be nice to go and um to this banquet this weekend and just enjoy you know a baby free night um so yeah but i can't wait guys to go find a freaking dress like i'm, I'm ready to go to the mall and find a dress and get it over with i talked to people at church and they like yeah we got our dresses and i'm just like oh got anything yet i don't even know what i'm doing with my hair y'all probably gonna put it in the sleek bun i gotta like a sleek sleek bun i gotta make sure my edges and everything is laid because after that night i'm washing my hair and i'm getting braced the next weekend <laughs> so yeah um i'm about to go y'all because i hate when i'm on here looking a mess for too long because it ended up being my thumbnail which is just probably gonna be my thumbnail so um yeah i i don't know i'm y'all I had something else to tell y'all too. I forgot. I'll probably remember and I'll probably remember and come back on here, but I'm about to go so I can get myself cleaned up, take a shower. I got Cali cleaned up. I went on Corey to come home so I can get in the shower and come do my um, quiz for the night. Sorry, my TV's so loud. I don't know why my, my TV always loud when my TV's on. But I, um, like I said, I'm about to um, I'm just waiting on Corey. He don't come home till seven, so I'ma try to do some studying until he gets here and get my baby back. If she can go to sleep and take a good. Because I have three hours to take this test, and I want to use all three. And I'm like, it's kind of sleep for three hours, but she might around. I'm trying to take my test by, by six, by eight. Eight to nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's even four hours. So, I mean, it was only three hours to take the test, but I don't know. Y'all, she fussy. So, let me go, and I'll see y'all later. Hey, guys. As you can see, still haven't done anything. It's only been like 30 minutes since I brought to y'all. The coos right on my side, <laughs> but um, y'all, maybe I've been feeling really, really nauseous like pregnancy, like nauseous. I know, I know, I'm not pregnant, I know I'm not pregnant, 
but I just be feeling like it. Like, sometimes I feel like I'm still having contractions, nauseous. Like, has anybody else, like, still have, like, some pregnancy symptoms after giving birth? Um, that's been going on, and besides the shedding and stuff, um, it's just been, I've just been feeling real sick. My mom think I should go back on my vitamins. I stopped taking. I thought you were supposed to stop taking your prenatal vitamins after six weeks, but I guess you got to keep going. <laughs> so I guess that's why I'm shedding. My hair shedding and stuff. But um, what else? And has anybody like, you know, like um, just I don't want to say I don't I don't know if it's TMI or not, but. I still haven't had my period, like, still haven't. Anybody that, like, had a baby, breastfed, like, when did you start your period? Like, I still haven't started my period yet. My sister's like, you should have been starting your period. And I'm like, no, because I looked up, I looked online and it says that when you breastfeed, it takes a minute for your period to come. So I'm like, having them symptoms too, like the cramping and stuff, and then no blood or nothing, so... Sorry if it's TMI for some people, but I'm just wondering. So, if you are a breastfeeding mommy and you had your baby way before mine, my baby is going on three months and a week. So, hold on, y'all. Kelly, stop it. But, um, yeah, like if you're, um, you know, if you had your baby before my say, I'm not sure. But any breastfeeding moms out there who had their baby and finally got their period, you know, please let me know. I know everybody's probably different, but I'm just wondering, like, when is it coming? Like, I'm not, I don't, honestly, I don't want it. <laughs> but I'm just like, I don't want it to just, like, come out of nowhere, you know? Like, I don't want it to be, I don't know, I just don't want to be out and all of a sudden... Here it comes, you know. I should have asked my doctor. I don't even know why I didn't ask her. I, sh I am. I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call my OB and ask her like, when is the estimated time? Cause I looked online. It was like some people haven't started a whole year. Their baby, their baby is one, and they haven't even had their period yet. Some people six months. Some people eight months. Like I'm just like, dang, that long. So we'll see. I guess it just depends on how long you breastfeed. I guess. I don't know, but I just wanted to come in here and say that. Um, I guess I'll come back later. If not, the next clip will probably be me ending this vlog. Hey, y'all. So, how's it going? Let me just put it out so, it looks like I am going to be combining two days, yesterday and today, because I just forgot to edit and upload yesterday. It's just, I just had a lot going on yesterday. And I was so tired. And, um, you know, I just finished an exam. Turn TV down. It was always loud. Um... <laughs> but um, I'm um I just finished an exam. I have to take another exam today. I did my homework. I just been homework mode lately. And, you know, I want to get it done. I have to get it done by today, cause tomorrow I'm not doing no homework. I'm just going focus on the house, and then when Corey comes home, we're gonna go to the mall and get um my dress or try to find me a dress well I have to find a dress by <laughs> by Saturday and um yeah so that's what's been going on today with me it's like one o'clock right now just the morning's been focusing on getting Callie to sleep finally got her to sleep and then I had took my exam and did my homework so now I'm just like taking a break before I take my next exam I'm gonna wait and like play with Callie and stuff and Put when I put her back down for a nap, probably like around three-ish. Um, I'm gonna get her um, changed out of her little outfit. <laughs> she is such a little squirmer. But I'm gonna get her um, changed out of that outfit and then um, clean the house up while she's awake. She put a movie on for her so I can like clean the house and then like around three or four. Um, I'm gonna try and take my next exam, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. I have till midnight, but I just want to get it out the way so I don't have to worry about nothing. So I can just focus on editing this video and uploading it. <laughs> uh oh.
Kelly, what's wrong, pretty? Oh, what do you mean? It's alright. It's alright. But, um, yeah, so I just wanted to come in here and say, hey, it's the next day. I didn't even get to end the vlog yesterday, so I'm like, I might as well just combine them and upload it today. Probably like around 8, 8 or 9. But, um, because I don't, I don't think I'm doing anything today either. It's just been like an in the house kind of chill vlog again. Uh, I'm really hoping to um get a lot of footage tomorrow so you guys will have something for that um what not not something but just something a little bit exciting in a different view besides being in the house and you know but yeah i just want to come here and let y'all know what was going on and that i will see you guys in a minute you guys so i'm so freaking excited i know i'll probably be like extremely extremely loud but i'm really 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 happy because i just i just passed both of my exams like with an 86 like it's weird both of my exams i got an 86 it's weird but y'all i know it's not like 100 but i still passed and tests are really hard for me and for me to get a like the first time I took their uh exam I got a 60 so this time I got an 86 on both and I just I just went ahead and just took them instead of waiting on Corey because Callie took another nap so um yeah it's like around 3 30 right now and I just finished and I'm like why, 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 why? um I have a confession to make though guys like the class that I'm the reason I'm so excited is because I had missed a whole week of mama you all right Brady you all right um, I had missed a whole, whole, whole week of assignments. Like, I missed an exam. I missed a homework assignment. And I missed a discussion. <laughs> so, um, I don't know where my head was at. I don't know. I think, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I was giving birth. Girl, I don't, y'all, I don't remember. This little girl. Why are you so antsy? Let me know when you to fall. Hold on, y'all. I don't want her to fall. You're going to have to sit down because you're doing too much. Okay, so, um, you want to be in a Cali? All right, my mama's going to shirt up. <laughs> All right, you want to be in it? Okay, so Cali acting like she wanted to be in it, so I got her in it. <laughs> um, but, uh, so I had, um, missed the whole week, which made my grade be a 50. 50? It was around 50. Yeah, 50. Bad, right? F. So I'm like, I'm going to have to take this class over. I'm freaking out, mad, aggravated, like, God dang it. But it cuss. Don't want to cuss too much. But I was so upset with myself. Like, how did I miss a whole week worth of class and an exam, too? So, yeah, messed my grade up. And um, mm -hmm. I'm just like, sorry. You wasn't in it. My bad. So I was, like, really, really mad that, you know, I didn't want to have to fail. So I had did my uh semester my next semester's schedule which i added that class on there again because i failed it so i'm, I'm thinking i'm a fa i'm a failing it because i don't think i could bring it up to a you know a c because to me a d is failing too so i'm like i'm gonna just have to take the class over because i don't want a d on my transcript so um to make a long story short i felt i thought i was failing in class which she said that she was going to take the lowest exam off and the lowest homework off which is the two i didn't complete so that's going to be two that's going to be knocked off discussion board was it was worth 100 points but that's just one zero which won't affect my grade that bad i did my project i'm not sure what i got on my project hopefully i did good on that and my homework i turned in today so hopefully those two things bring my grade up because right now without her even taking the zero taking the two um fail the two zeros let me show y'all okay y'all so here's my screen so you see where it says zero class this class discussion zero exam and zero homework that's like a whole week worth oh pumpkin don't fall um worth the stuff so she's gonna take off these two right here where it says exam and homework and um right there is where i turned in my final project and then y'all see my test scores right there and then my homework is right at the bottom cali baby please i'm trying to show them so um yeah that's what it looks like i can't really scroll right now and show y'all because i'm not close enough but um so i um right now Right now, before she even takes that off, I'm going to have, I have a 60. I brought it from a 50 to a 60 with just, just taking my two exams 
you know, just take my two exams. So, uh, she, she has a grade the homework. She always gives me 100 on my homework. She gave me 100 on my last homework. So, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get 100 on this homework. And then my project, I worked really hard. And I'm hoping I get 100 on that, too. So, if I do, guys, that'll probably bring my grade up to a C. Or, like, a 72. At least a, a C. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, like, really thankful. That's why I'm so happy that I passed my exams. Because that was really determining. The homework and the projects are really easy. And then with her not even taking the zero off, that's going to even or automatically bring my grade up even more. So, that's why I'm just so excited. And I was just, like, I have to come on here and share that with you guys. And... For future references, if you're doing online classes, please check your stuff every day because you never know what a teacher is going to upload or change. The You know that you don't know what they're going to change, what they're going to add for you to do. You just don't know. So future references, if you are doing online classes, is to check every day. <laughs> and, um, and an update on Callie's eye. Um, I, have, I still have my What to Expect app when I was pregnant. And for now, like, we still communicate with our babies being born. So I asked, um, I went, on my, I went on the discussion thing and I asked a couple, I asked a question about, um, I made a post basically explaining Callie's eye. And, um, a lady, a couple ladies actually responded and they said that, um, her baby had the same problem as Callie's. And she said Callie's doesn't look too bad. She's like, as long as her, um... I, ooh, I don't want to touch it, but her eyelid here isn't covering her pupil where she can't see, then it's probably pitosis. But she says since it's a little bit just covering her pupil just at the top, just a little bit, that she thinks that's going to clear up. Because she said her son had the same thing and that it cleared up, but I'm not going to say, oh, Kelly's not going to have it because your baby did it. Every baby's different, but I think my baby will be fine. And then the other one said that, her babies is really low when um they're when they're tired and Callie's is too. But Callie's eye isn't that low right now. Come on, baby. Her eye isn't really that low right now. It's low when she looks down or, you know, when she's being lazy. But to me it don't look that bad. I think she just it has to get strong like that one. But, um, she's only two months. You know, anything can happen by the time she turned one. So, we'll, I will keep you guys updated because I think it's important because some moms out there actually might be going through the same thing as me. And I want to share my journey. So, yeah, well, Callie and I journey. So, yeah, I just want to come in here and let you guys know what was going on and that I am going to end the vlog here because there's nothing exciting or anything that's going to happen for the rest of the day. Stop, bubble. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and that we will see you guys tomorrow. And I'm going to edit and upload this video now while that I have all this time um, to just do it since I did all my homework for the day and my exams for the day. I only have... I only have really <laughs> I think I only have two I have two more things to do I have to do a class assessment and I think it's an exam I'm not, I'm not sure if it's, if it's an exam or not I have to check but um yeah I have I don't have to turn it in until Friday but I'm not gonna do it until Thursday I'm gonna give myself a break so tomorrow it's gonna be you know like I said clean the house and find me a dress <laughs> find me a dress and <laughs> okay, baby, I'm trying to talk. So find me a dress and you oh it's your vlog? Okay, here then. It's your vlog. Hold the camera. Here. Huh. Hold the camera. Here. You want it? Here. Hold the camera. Say hi people. You don't want to be all up close personal. You want me to hold it. <laughs> but um, like I was trying to say, um, I got two more things to do and school's over for me. If I pass this class, I have to take it off my um schedule for next semester and add something else and um yeah um and I'm considering putting Kelly in daycare one of the girls that I watch on YouTube actually like ease my nerves and like help me out a little bit with actually putting her in daycare so little because her baby is I think I think a couple weeks younger than Callie but um 
yeah, I just I just really had really bad nerves about putting my baby in daycare, but as seeing other moms put their baby in daycare and feeling comfortable with it, I'm going to have to be comfortable with it and find me a, find me a daycare to put her in because I want to go back to work and make money. Um, this stay-at-home mom stuff is cool, but I miss going outside the house, going to work. I'm not going back to Burlington, but I do want to go back out and, you know, just be outside the house, pick my baby up and just kiss her and love her and stuff. So, um, it probably won't be a full-time job, probably be part-time because I don't want to be away from her so young for so long. So, yeah, but I just wanted to come in here and let you guys know what's going on, that I'm going to end the vlog here and that I will see you guys tomorrow. You should, you should see this video by tonight. <laughs> so say bye, Callie. Say bye, baby. <laughs> bye, y'all.